Hello guys, so today we are going to talk about a very important notion which is syllable stress in English, okay, syllable stress. So we are going to divide it into several parts, today we are going to have the first one, then we'll have the other ones, okay. So subscribe if you don't do it yet to know when any other video is out. Well, to start we are going to see why it is important to study this notion, I mean syllable stress, why is it important. Then we are going to define stress and syllables and practice some example words. Well, let's get started and stay tuned. Syllable stress. Why is it important? Syllable stress is as important as pronunciation. Because to pronounce your words properly, you need to know which syllable to stress. Using it will make your sound more sincere, more interesting and natural. So you can see how important it is. Okay? It is extremely important. Okay? It is as important as pronunciation. So, to pronounce your words properly, you need to know which syllable to stress. Using it will make you sound more sincere, more interesting, and natural. Okay? So, if you use it wrong, your words won't be correctly pronounced. Okay? So, now let's go for stress. Stress is the emphasis placed on a syllable to make the syllable sound louder, higher, and clearer. Okay? It is the emphasis placed on a syllable to make that syllable sound louder, higher, and clearer. Let's see some examples. We have banana. So we don't say banana, we say banana. So the stress is here. So this part is louder, higher, and clearer. Or you can also say stronger, longer, and bolder. Okay? Banana. Banana. Behind. We don't say behind. We say behind. Okay? The stress is here, okay, on the second syllable. Here it is on the first syllable. We say pronoun, pronoun, okay? Here we say pronounce, pronounce. It is on the second syllable, okay? Pronounce. So there's something I want you to notice here too. So here we say pronoun, but here we say pronounce, p, p, but here we say po. Well, here we have a sha sound. So this one is the most common sound in English, okay? So the vowel sounds in the unstressed syllables are often reduced to ishwa. And all of the vowel letters can be pronounced as ishwa in spoken English, okay? So to make it, you have to do like that. Uh, 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 uh. Pr, pr, pr. Pronounce, pronounce. Okay? So you can also have it here too. Instead of behind, you can say behind, b, behind, okay? So here we have it twice in this word too. We say ba na, okay? Banana, banana. You have this one here and you also have it here too, okay? So this one will always be really fast and low in pitch. Well, we'll make an entire video just to talk about this one sound, okay? It is never stressed. It is always unstressed too. Now let's go for syllables. Syllables are the smallest sounds that make up words. All syllables must have a vowel. That means if it does have any vowel, it cannot be a syllable. Let's see some examples. We have banana. One syllable, so syllables, three syllables, okay? One, two, three. So it has three syllables, okay? These are what we call the smallest sounds. One, two, three, okay? Now let's go for this word. We have conversation. Can the say shin okay so we have four syllables let's go here beat how many syllables only one syllable okay beat here we have balloon how many syllables two syllables okay balloon okay so now i gave you two ways to understand syllable sounds easily okay so you have two ways okay that will help you understand syllable sounds easily the first one is by clapping your hands and counting how many claps you hear, okay? You'll clap your hands and count how many claps you hear, okay? Let's do it together with these examples, okay? We have b na n. How many claps? B na n. Okay, we have three claps, so three syllables, okay? Count the c shin. How many claps? Four claps, four syllables. Beat, one clap, one syllable. Be, hide, how many claps? Two claps, two syllables, okay? 
So the second one is by placing your head below your chin and seeing how many times your jaw touches your head. Okay, I place my head here and I'm going to repeat the syllables and see how many times my jaw is going to touch my hand. Let's do it together. We have B, N, N. How many times? Three times. So I have three syllables. Con, V, C, Shen. Four times, four syllables. Beat. Only once or one time. So I have one syllable. B, hide. How many times? Twice or two times. So I have two syllables. Okay? So by using these two ways, you'll really understand it easily, okay? Now we have some example words to practice, okay? So pause the video and count how many syllables each of them has. Then we'll do it together, okay? So you paused it and counted how many syllables each of them has, right? Okay, now let's do it together. So we have string. How many syllables? Well, some people say two and some others say one. So if you said one, you got it right. But if you said two, you got it wrong. It has only one syllable. Okay? So let's see. Strain. Strain. It touches it only one time. So it has one syllable. Strain. Well, I see why some people say two. They take this part as a syllable. If you take it as a syllable, when you say my jaw doesn't touch my hand so it cannot be a syllable and what you need to keep in mind too is that all syllables must have a vowel so if we take this part as a syllable it doesn't have any vowel okay so it cannot be a syllable okay and the word has only one vowel so it's clear to know it has one syllable you got it now all right okay good let's keep on we have study. How many syllables? One syllable here. Study. Study. So syllables, okay? If you understood this, you will understand this easily, okay? So syllables. Star, one, D, two. Hamstring. How many syllables? So syllables, okay? Hamstring, okay? Information. 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 Okay, it has four syllables. Comfortable. Comfortable. We don't say comfortable. Comfortable. We say comfortable. So this part is silent. Okay, it has only three syllables. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, three syllables. Vegetable. Vegetable. So it has three syllables. So okay, vegetable, vegetable. Generally, generally. So it has three syllables. Okay. This part is also silent. Okay. We have chocolate, chocolate. Okay. So it has two syllables. Okay. Chocolate. Now let's keep on. We have laboratory laboratory how many syllables laboratory four syllables okay this part is silent probably or probably okay this one can have two or three syllables okay but the is speakers will say more often probably okay probably if we say probably it has two syllables probably Probably three syllables. Probably two syllables. Okay. Probably three syllables. Probably two syllables. Okay. Family two or three syllables, but they say more often family. Okay. Okay. If you say family, it has two syllables. Family, family, three syllables. Okay. And there's something I want you to notice here too. From here, from comfortable to family, this second part is disappeared. Okay? And for these words, the stress is on the first syllable. Okay? Comfortable, vegetable, etc. 
So sometimes when the stress is on the first syllable of a word, it loses the second part. Since we have to pronounce it louder, higher and clearer, I mean the stressed syllable, it loses the second part, okay? The word loses the second part, okay? Comfortable, vegetable, okay? And there are many other words like that. So all that can show you how important syllable stress is, okay? So if you want, let me know in the comment. I'll make another video just for that to so give you many other words like that, okay? Where the stress is on the first syllable and the word loses the second part, okay? Or the second part is disappeared. And for some of these words, comfortable, laboratory, okay? We have some shorter forms. Instead of comfortable, you can say comfy. Instead of laboratory, you can say lab. Okay, so thanks for watching. That's all for today. I'll see you in the next videos. Subscribe if you don't do it yet and share the video. Okay, so, well, thanks a lot. If you have any question, you can ask them in the comments. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye. Like the videos, okay?